going further let us take another example find sum of 5 plus 55 plus 555 and so on up to n terms so now first step will be taking phi common now if the sequence is not with phi suppose it is with 8 so the sum will be like this 8 plus 88 plus 888 and so on so for such sums take 8 common so whatever the number is will take that term common and multiply divide by 9 so as you can see 5 by 9 and now this 9 gets inside the bracket each term will be 9 plus 99 999 up to n terms now this first 9 can be written as 10 minus 1 Second, ninety-nine can be written as hundred minus one, thousand minus one, and so on. Now, if you see what I am doing here is I am introducing a geometric progression: ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and so on. So here, as you can see, I will get minus one for n times, and ten, hundred, thousand as n different terms of geometric progression. So first part is a geometric progression. First term is ten, and ratio is also ten. So applying some formula for geometric progression, the answer will be ten into ten raised to n minus one upon ten minus one. And the second part is nothing but minus n because I am adding one for n times. On further simplification, the answer will be five by n, ten into ten raised to n minus one minus nine n upon nine. So which becomes Pi by nine into ten raised to ten n minus one minus nine n upon nine. You can write pi by eighty one also. Thank you.